All right, a new record. I just got another watch. Was that two weeks? Not even two weeks since my last one. I mean, the reason why I have a new watch here is because one of my digital watches broke it broke last week, so I needed a replacement. So I bought this. As you can see, it's Vestal. Vestal Digital Doppler model number DDL001. So let me get to the box. Black box, cubed. Okay, VestalWatch.com. Open it like that. Inside, there's the little watch holder thingy. Okay, here's the here's a guitar pick with VestalRadio.com. Right. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this price tag, so it'll probably stay in the watch box. And this is a sticker. Okay, one piece. Now this will probably stay in the box too, because I'm not gonna use this anywhere. I'm too bad if it was in the, if if each individual logo was its own sticker, then yeah, I definitely use it. But uh, one piece, nah, no thank you. So here we go, here's the watch. All right. I bought this online from watchismo.com, so watchismo.com. It was my very first purchase and it definitely will not be the last because they have a lot of watches available for sale on their website. So take a look, watchismo.com. The, the total price, including shipping, was still $75 cheaper than, what, than if I were to go in-store here in Canada to pay for it. So. How can you blame me for not buying it from uh, the United States, you know? And the shipping was very, very fast. Exactly one week today. So seven days it took to ship from uh, California, I believe. So that's uh, got nothing but praise. Definitely buy more watches. So take a look, watchismo.com. Now this version is the black on black. They also have a silver chrome stainless steel case on black. But I went with the obviously black on black. The, the case itself is 50 millimeters wide, okay, and the thickness is 15 millimeters. Now, for a digital watch, this is unusually thick. They don't need to be thick at all, but uh, I guess they went for the fashion look of it, so that's why it was so thick. My, my last watch, the Officina del Tempo, was 47, so this one's 3 millimeters thicker, or 3 millimeters big, bigger. The face is mineral crystal, and what's funny is that when I was coming into the room to do this, I nailed the door frame with this watch and got paint scripts and all that. But as you can see, there's absolutely no damage coming from here. No scratches, nothing. So not even on the paint there. So uh, this thing is pretty durable. Considering it's made in China, which is weird. I don't usually like buying watches from uh, China, but this is a digital watch, so I don't care. Any kind of expensive premium automatic movements or anything, I, I don't. then, yeah, got to avoid made in China, made in Thailand, made in India, whatever. So so here's the back. Stainless steel. You got four screws to hold it in. And as you can see, they got this fancy schmancy uh, engraving digital Doppler with their, I guess, their motto. Unvarying... Unvarying unvaryingly <laughs> unvaryingly regular in rhythm uh, water resistant 10 ATM 100 meters okay and there's their logo that uh, little winged logo V thingy that's right there their logo Vestal watch logo so uh, yeah now the band itself the band is 22 millimeters okay and it's a good hard leather okay now here's a, another thing about this it's the uh, where the band connects to the watch to the case it's hinged all connected by screws so it gives you more movement and more flexibility on your wrist so that's all right but they are tight and they are hard to get to so I tried to remove the band but I couldn't do it so uh, I just left it whatever all right so as you can see on the case you got the four function buttons okay it's labeled but it's very very small you, right there if you can see you zoom there okay light mode start reset now online when i was looking this watch up and researching not one website not even what cheese mode mentioned the fact that this thing is backlighted like indigo so there you go that proves it that was a major thing digital watch without a light backlight is 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 hard to come by nowadays and why buy a digital watch without a backlight but uh, luckily this one does come with it even though no website amazon what cheese mode, nothing labeled it as a backlight so I couldn't find it on uh, Vestal either. They didn't even mention backlight, so whatever. Now you know. Backlight. Top left. Alright. The uh, the two right buttons do nothing right now. Okay. Until you hit the mode button. 
So you hit it once and there's your stopwatch. So to start the stopwatch, top right. To stop it, top right again. To reset it, bottom right. And that's all that does. Next function is the alarm. Okay, Top right, their alarm is on. You notice the little icon there, alarm is on. Again, that's bell. Okay, That means uh, the hourly chime is now on. So every time it hits the hour, it'll go beep beep or beep 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 or whatever. Hit it again and both the alarm is set and the hourly chime. I don't like either, I don't need either, so I turn it off. Mode again and you're back. Okay. Now, when you hit the mode button, you notice the beeping sound. You cannot turn that beeping sound off to change the mode. It's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? And I don't know if you notice how quickly I cycled there. Okay. That's how you get into the setup. Okay. So here's the main watch screen. If you want to set it up, you don't hold any of these buttons down to enter into setup. You've got to cycle through the modes to get to it. See, now it's flashing. Okay, so obviously now you're in the setup mode, you could change that with the you know top right advance. There's the clock, okay? Right now it's in 24 hour or it's in the 12 hour clock, so 1 p.m. If you want to get to the uh, 24 hour clock, you have to advance through all the time. And there you go. Now you're on to the 24 hours, so zero hundred hours. To get back to the 12 hour clock, you gotta cycle through all of it again to get to 23. There you go, now you're back at uh, 12 a.m., which is not the time right now. So I gotta get to the time. There you go, 159 right now. Okay, hit the bottom right to get to the minutes. Now you're on to the month up there, day, and day again, Wednesday. Okay, when we're done with that, saved. And that's the basic functions. Uh, I really wish we could turn off that beep. I don't like that beep. Ah, well, what are you going to do? Alright, so here's that gray ring right there. Vestal, Vestal, Vestal. It's just their logo. And an even smaller ring in there is the labels for each of the buttons. I can't even remember if I mentioned that. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> so uh, that's it. So the disadvantages or the cons, like I said, the beeping sound of the mode button, I don't like that. Uh... You notice here, if I get in close here, okay, there's a little lip on the watch itself. I uh, can't focus. Little lip, the, the glass, okay, you notice it sticks up about a millimeter. That kind of, that attracts dust. So when you're looking on, an, on the watch, as you can see, there's already dust gathering in there. So you got to blow it out or clean it out. So that kind of sucks. And uh, those are the only, oh, and uh, there's no countdown timer. Just the stopwatch and alarm, so no countdown timer. I wish, I wish it had it, but uh, whatever. Just use it for stopwatch and alarm and whatnot. So there you go. Put it on. Now the band itself is a standard band, not extra long or anything, so I gotta use the second hole. Okay, so there it is on my hand, or my wrist, whatever. Yeah. So not too bad. 50 millimeters, it's not bad. Good size. If it if fits my giant hand and wrist, uh, Diesel has an even bigger watch, the 65 or 67 millimeters, and that thing's way too big. I tried it on; it's too huge. But uh, this is this is pretty good for a digital watch. All right. So again, watchismo.com. This is the Vestal Digital Doppler. DDL001